I think, um, you know, I do think France are the best team in the world, in my, you know, in my opinion overall. And um, you know, they lost the, the World Cup on penalties. But um, for us to for us to win a game against the best, you know, a team of that magnitude, we have to create a game, a few chances. You know, we have to we have to carry as much of a threat as we can ourselves, but we have to create, and and that doesn't mean by just defending. That means by trying to control aspects of the game in the manner that we can, and having a cutting edge in our play to create chances. We, we would have liked more of a cutting edge in our attack and play in the first half than we had, but um, that's a t that's not easy. I I have watched, I have watched, we've watched France's last twenty games. We've never seen we've never seen Killian and Mbappe, who I voted for as, as the best player in the world, have such a quiet night. I've never seen it, never seen it. So um, you know, so it was. Um, we had to defend our box in the first half. Obviously, they got some crosses in. They forced us back. Um, that was it. That wasn't easy because Moani Giroud. Rabio coming late, Griezmann coming late, they've got that height and they've got a physical presence. So I thought our defending was very, very good uh, overall. Didn't con the goal we conceded, we didn't concede any chances up to the goal we conceded. So that was disappointing. Obviously, the substitutes made an impact, I felt, and we really finished strongly in the last 15 minutes. And obviously, the you now we did, our, I know our goalkeeper made. Uh, Gavin made an excellent save, but the save that from Nathan Collins is um, is out of this world. You know, it's it's just one of the, one of those incredible saves to the nice in the end, and uh, so we're disappointed to not get a, at least a point. Stephen, uh, we can also stress a lot of the positives that we saw there tonight in some of the performances. How do we now back this up? How do we now develop the consistency for the games against the Netherlands and Greece when we need to find? Yeah, well, big challenges in June. Obviously, we've got to go to Greece in in, <coughs> in the middle of summer, in the middle of June, which is a, a challenge. So that's the, the next challenge of back-to-back games, Greece and Gibraltar. So we'll just firmly f move on and focus on, <coughs> reflect on, on the performance and what we've learned from it over the next few days and prepare accordingly. And obviously, we have extensive preparations in relation to, you know, we the six week gap between the end of the championship and the game against Greece. So obviously we, we have a four day training camp at Bristol City in a, a couple of weeks after the season ends. And we're going to Turkey for nine days to prepare it for Greece. And you know, we want our preparations have to be have to be exceptional and we have to make sure we prepare um really well for the game against Greece, which is a tough game. And um and Gibraltar here in you know, so those six points uh, in June, is a, the, you know, we've got to get ready. It's a tough game, Greece. We've got to get ready for that. Damien Spalman, please. Stephen, Josh Cummins looked so good for you over the last couple of years. <coughs> it was very uncharacteristic for stepping back. What would you say to him to keep his head up? <laughs> you know, I'd, obviously, his pass, like he played very well overall in the game, his pass completion rate. Normally, it's very, very high. He doesn't give the ball away. That's what he does. Like, you know, okay, he's not he's not a player that mainly a lot of short passes. He do, you know, doesn't doesn't pass the ball uh, long on on many occasions. Occasionally, it's a long pass and has that in, it has that in his arm, really, but uh, and can 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 do it. But essentially, a lot of short passes is part of his game and. He needs to play together. He provides an important function for the team. So it's very uncharacteristic to give it away. But you know he's been he's been so consistent for us. I'm very proud of him. And uh, he's been so consistent for us. So that's just um, it's just one of those things. Gavin Keenan, please. Even the performance it shows, you can surprise people and go out and have Well, I think. Um, France have watched us and, and they know they know they knew that we would be tough opponents and um, they paid us a lot of respect and they pressed us extremely high. 
Uh, high, you know, they, they don't always press as high as that. They, express, uh, they press us really high tonight, today in the first half, particularly, and right throughout the game. So, um, you know, I, I think I think we're showing, you know, I think we're showing we're really potentially a really good team now, and you know, it is a very important campaign for us, and we're disappointed we didn't get a point, but for sure, there's a lot, a lot of points to play for them. We want to make sure that we're, we put ourselves really in contention coming into the last couple of games. We'll finish live with Ed Lee, please. Steve. <coughs> Steve, how are you doing? Um, when, you, when you say just um, that to be, to beat a team like France, you need to create uh, more chances, were you expecting more chances tonight to be created? Or is that something the team is still building on? And on the flip side, I suppose you must be really delighted to be still in the contest with 10 minutes to go that you allowed you to have that little goal. Yeah, no, I said it again. If you uh, like, France didn't create any chance against us up to the goal. You know, I didn't feel. You know, I don't. Not that I would consider. You know, it was the. It was. It was a good game of football. It was quite tactical. Um, France are an, an exceptional team. I felt we. Uh, but we were comfortable ourselves in possession at times. They they were aggressively pressing us, and. Uh, you know, we, we uh, listen, we a lot of good performances out there tonight. And we had, you know, that in that last 10 minutes, obviously we had quite a few. James McLean, Alan Brown, efforts that goal. Keeper made two saves over the bar as well. So there was, you know, there was a, you've got, you know, you've got to take it. Nathan took his, took his opportunity, to be fair, but it's just an incredible save from, from 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 the French goalkeeper, it was it was an incredible save. So that's just just we just have to accept that.